What allows a fish to live on this earth longer than another fish? Gar are known for being an ancient fish. One of those things is it's got this armor. It's got ganoid scales that keep it more protected than the typical fish like a bass. It's also got a working lung. So if you put a bass in a bucket in your, in your boat, it's going to die. But a gar can actually breathe air. Okay, so they've got some old tricks, these are ancient tricks, that have allowed them to stay on Earth longer than other fish that became extinct. But another thing that's allowed them to be here so long, we think, is that they have a trick with their eggs, and that is they have associated a toxin with their eggs. And so we are calling this the gar neurotoxin. And I'm not the first one to work on this. This was first reported way back in 1851, before the Civil War, by a doctor named Brooks. He talked about a, a family that was poisoned by gore way back then. Even though it was talked about way back in 1851, not many people have worked on this. Thomas Burns in North Louisiana did some work on this in the 1980s. But since then, hardly anyone except our lab has looked at this in, in, uh, in depth. So. Way back then in 1851, it was realized that if you eat the ovary or the roe of a gar, you can get sick. It sends people into gastric distress and sometimes even a comatose state. So that's been around a while, and people are still doing this just about every summer. In 2010 and 2011, there are also similar stories of families that eat gar and they become sick and go to the hospital. But they usually recover within a day or two. So we're interested in what makes these gar eggs poisonous. And in order to get at that, we have to collect gar ourselves. And so um, I'm using this pointer here that I got from the table. <laughs> we collect gar ourselves by going to the Atchafalaya Basin. Uh, we get spotted gar from the upper basin, and then we get alligator gar from the lower basin. We open them up and get the rope. So what I'm talking about here is uh, the O 